Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to design a schematic symbol by using the keyCAD. Okay, so in this particular session, we will design an entire IC symbol, which is given here on the left side. Okay, so to create the symbol, first we will have to create a new library. But to open this particular window, we will have to first go to the keyCAD and then click on the symbol editor. This window will pop up okay so to create any kind of a symbol first we have to create a new library so by just clicking on the new library you will have a one new pop up which is showing that there is a two kind of a library first one is a global library and the second one is a project library the project library is a project specific library which shows all the symbols in this particular project only it the symbol of this kind of a library will not shown on other projects okay and if you will create the symbol by using the global library it means this particular library will show in all the projects that you will create in the future okay so currently we are going to design a symbol by using the global library so just by click on the global and press ok now you have to give the location of your library and the name of your library like i am currently giving the demo like okay so this will be our library of our symbols so the extension of our symbol library will be keycad underscore sym sym means symbol so just save it so keycad will create a new library for us which is empty so to add the symbol here in this particular library just right click on the our library and create a new symbol okay so first give the name of our symbol so currently i am using this particular data sheet to create a library so this particular ic is cd4051 which is a 74hc series ic okay so currently we, have, we will design the symbol for this particular ic so here is the image which is collected from the data sheet which is given here in the data sheet okay so in this particular session we are we will design a schematic symbol for this particular IC. So let us go back to the keycad and uh, we will give the name for our symbol which is a CD74HC4051 and the designator which is U which is gen generally used for the IC and press OK. So it will create a empty library where we will in this particular uh, window we will adding all the pins and the border and the name of the pins okay and the designator of our symbol so first we will start by using by dropping the pins so just click on the pin symbol and click on the blank screen so this window will pop up by using this window we will place all the individual pins one by one okay so here in this pop up we first we will have to add the pin name so we will start from the pin number one so name of the pin number one is a channel IOA4. So I will type here channel space I slash O A4. Okay. You can just write A4 here if you want. So I am just writing here the entire name channel IOA4 and the pin number, pin number is one. So I am using the default setting here in the key care. If the designer wants, then they can change the pin a length the size everything you can also define the input output any kind of uh, electrical type you want to show here for example here we have bar it means it is a negative or the output will have a negative input or not get okay so you can uh, select from here as per your convenience okay so i am just using the default settings here and by adding the name and number i will just press on okay so see here our pin is out you can uh, press r from your keyboard to rotate the pin and just click anywhere in the space where you want to drop it okay so i'm after clicking you will have a one pin ready now if you want to create a second pin then you can just control c and control v you can copy and paste the pin or you can click here on the symbol and click here on the blank screen and you can start fresh okay here in this case the both name are same almost same so i will just copy and paste here 
and just double click on the pin you will just have to change the pin number and the pin name here we have a6 so i will just type a6 okay so our two pins are ready now to create a three pins again you can use any one of the way now i am using the this symbol way okay now again add pin number 3 so i will add pin number 3 and the name of pin number 3 is a com out out space slash i n space a and press ok and just click here on the blank screen so here we have added three pins so i will complete all the pins and then i will get back here so i have created entire symbol here i have typed here all the pins and the all the names properly now we want this square which is used for the ic body okay so to add the shape here we have lots of shape but in this particular case we just need a rectangular box so click here in any blank screen and just drag and drop and then click so entire square is ready so our ic symbol is ready to use okay just save it if we have here star for example if we add something so it will show that the library is not saved means here we will have a star okay so after right clicking on the uh, particular ic and just click save okay so now our ic is ready now to add the symbol to our project we will go to the our demo project and open the schematic file so to add the symbol just click on the add symbol library and here we have to type our ic name okay so our window is here now we just have to type our ic name that we have given to our ic that is a 74 hc 4051 so see here here our library that we had created demo underscore like and this is the our symbol that we had created so just double click on it and place whenever you want so our, our library is ready and you can use in your project or you can create your custom project if you have any doubt in other symbol then you can contact me thank you so much for this session we will meet in the next session